So in response to Kirsten Cinema getting confronted at ASU with protesters following her into the bathroom, I, of course, endorsed that protest. It is a legitimate form of protest because she's left her constituents no other means of engaging with her. Um, and, and I also stated in the video that I did talking about that, that I really hope that it happens more. Everywhere Kirsten Cinema goes, she should be heckled, she should be confronted, and guess what? That's happening. So on a plane, one of her constituents decided to ask her whether or not she would commit to passing reconciliation, and as you're going to see, she said nothing. I just want to know if um, you can commit, as, as my senator, as you, if you can commit to passing a reconciliation that could provide a pathway to citizenship for immigrants. We have been waiting for this for too long. I just need to know if you can commit to passing a budget reconciliation that would include immigration and citizenship for people to be protected, like me and many others. No answer. Refusing to engage at all. Just blank face, completely unmoved by the protester, trying to get her to answer a simple question. And she doesn't even have to commit right then and there. She can say, listen, I understand your concerns. I'm working on something. Uh, we'll try to we'll try to get it done. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't even attempt to placate her constituents as Joe Manchin even does. She just ignores them. But that wasn't all, because off the plane, she was also confronted by protesters, and they asked her again, will you commit to support and reconciliation? If not, what do you want to cut from the bill? Take a look. Hi, Senator Cinema. I want to ask if you can explain to the American people Sorry. what you're planning on cutting from Joe Biden's Build Back Better plan. I'm having trouble hearing do you want right to cut now. climate priorities? Is it elder care that you want to cut, or is it child care? Please. Senator, please. We are, are you asking to cut your health. Senator, we need you. What are the priorities? I'm just trying to get an explanation for the American people. All I want to know is what the specific is. Senator Cinema, Senator Cinema, my hometown is is really hard to run by a refinery. I'm going to give these people air to breathe. I'm giving them new jobs. Senator Cinema, my hometown is a refinery. Please give me a chance to get some Senator Cinema. That is awesome to see. And that really is the perfect question. What do you want to cut? She's not saying what she doesn't like about the $3.5 trillion Build Back Better plan. She's just saying that she won't support it. So do you want to take out climate priorities? Do you want to take out child care? What do you want to take out from it? But she refuses to answer. And you can tell that she's irritated. She's she's not really showing it, but you can tell she is seething. But it didn't end there. Protesters followed her up the escalator as well and out the door of the airport. Watch. Senator Cinema, who would you cut out from Build Back Better? Who would you leave behind? Senator Cinema, who would you leave behind? 
Senator Cinema, who would you leave behind? Senator, who would you leave behind? The seniors? The immigrants? People without dental care? Who would you leave behind, Senator Cinema? We just want to have a conversation. And you're just ignoring everybody. Is this what you think leadership is? Senator Manchin talks to people. Senator Cinema, all we want to do is have a conversation about who you would leave behind. Who would you leave behind? 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 The working class is Who would you leave behind? Oh, I love this so much. I love this so much. These activists truly should be commended. This is how you put pressure on senators. What do you want to leave out, Senator Cinema? Do you want to leave behind uh, seniors, immigrants? Who do you want to leave behind? You're ignoring us. Uh, that person even pointed out that even Joe Manchin engages with constituents and everything that he says is disingenuous and he lies to them, but at least he engages at a minimum. That's the bare minimum that we should expect from public representatives, but she just, she doesn't care at all. Now, there was a woman holding up a sign uh, as she was going up the escalator, and if you're wondering what that said, it reads, Hot Bisexual Against Kirsten Cinema," And I love that so much. I love that so much. Anything that they can do to embarrass her, heckle her, put pressure on her over, I'm all for it. Because guess what? This is what is necessary when she refuses to engage. And as People for Bernie points out, she hasn't held a town hall in three years. So what does she expect if she's not talking to her constituents, refusing to even negotiate with her colleagues in the Democratic Party because she is leaving D.C. to go meet with her donors for a private retreat? How, how does she expect them to reach her they have to have some way to communicate with her there has to be some line of communication and since she's refusing to talk to them this is what they're doing they're desperate this is what they have to resort to this isn't just some sort of a game contrary to popular belief this is people's lives this is the future of the planet this is the lives of so many immigrants in this country so many people who just want a chance and she's just She's she's callous. She's cold. She doesn't care. So guess what? If you don't like this Kirsten Cinema, tough because I suspect that this is going to be her life from now on until she agrees to support the bill. Because if you hold so many people's lives in your hand, that is a tremendous amount of responsibility, and and you should be expecting this. And the fact that you have refused to communicate with anyone, this is just going to keep happening. And I'm here for it. I love it. Keep it up, activists. Don't don't back down. Just just keep giving her hell wherever she is. Heckle her. Make her life a living hell if she doesn't actually buckle. Because there's got to be a breaking point at some point, right? She's got to get tired of this at some point. So keep it up. This is phenomenal.